Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. TikTok has really been an explosion of trends these days. It seems like every single day there's a new aesthetic, there's a new trend, but I don't know about you, but there's something so sexy and grown about finding your own unique aesthetic, your own signature look or style and the cherry on top of that is finding your own signature scent. And so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about layering your fragrances and creating that own unique scent for yourself. There are so many different scents out there from citrus to clean to woody to vanilla-y, that type of sweet scent. Everyone gravitates to different ones. If you don't know where to start, what can be really helpful is pulling up one of these charts. A chart like this will show you all of the different types of scents that are out there. Please remember that you don't have to just pick one, you can have a few that you love. A chart like this will really help you figure out what complements each other, what layers together, what scents can you explore to find your unique scent. For me, I always like to find first something that complements and then something that adds a shock factor, like something you wouldn't really expect. When you start to layer your fragrances, you wanna focus first on your basis. When you're choosing your hair care products, your body care products, you want to make sure that you're choosing the right scent for you. This could be choosing the same fragrance. For example, if you like lavender, maybe your shampoo is lavender, maybe your body wash is lavender, your body um, butters or whatever are lavender as well. So you can create a cohesive scent or maybe they are just fragrance free. And the majority of my products are usually fragrance free or they smell like fresh linen. I don't know, I'm obsessed with that scent. But anyways, my body care routine starts with the Dove Dryness Repair with 6% hyaluronic acid. This is their new body wash that I've been using for a couple days now, and I love it. Oh, I love this clean scent. Like, I, I cannot get over this. Anyways, so yeah, this is what mine usually begins with. And then I will use a shea butter. This is a whipped shea butter that I made not too long ago. It doesn't really have any scent, just smells like butter. So not really adding to the scent palette. And then last, but not least, I'll finish off with my deodorant. This is the Dove Advanced Care, their original dry spray. It has that really clean scent. There isn't really a fragrance to it. So this is where I would start for my body care routine. The next thing I'd recommend doing is finding a body spray, a scent that is very, very natural to you. So like I said, I love clean linen. I love fresh. I am like a cancer, so I'm drawn to the sea. I love anything beachy, light, floral. So for me, my signature body spray is a Victoria's Secret's uh, Aqua Kiss. I love this because I feel like it's a blend of the floral, the clean, and the ocean, which I love. Most fragrances that are beachy just smell like sea salt, and I'm sorry, like I love sea salt, but not as the entire fragrance. I'm really bad at describing fragrances, so I'll put the uh, fragrance list on this side so you can get a feel of what it smells like. So with this body spray, you're going to spray the sides of your neck, so right there. Then you're going to spray on your pulse points. So this would be the inner crooks of your arm, your wrists on both sides, and behind your knees. This is where those pulse points are gonna be. If bring it in these regions are exactly where it's gonna mix with your own natural pheromones. Now, if you really wanna get spicy, you can spray it on your ankles as well. I will leave that with you. Next, you want to find your favorite body oil or fragrant oil specifically. And this is because oils and butters and even Vaseline holds fragrance like nothing else. This will get your fragrance to last all freaking day. So if you don't have a fragrant oil or you don't really want to get a fragrant oil, you can use Vaseline and rub it on those areas as well before applying your perfumes. I'd recommend finding one that suits you once again. I love a very mature scent to my fragrant oils. I like something a little bit musky. I like something a little sexy and mature. So the one that I gravitate to is the Nemat Egyptian Musk. I'm sure you've heard about this before. If you wanna smell like super sexy and sultry and mature, then this is what I would recommend picking up. Now, like I said, you don't have to choose just one type of fragrance. You can have various types of fragrances that you enjoy. I like making my own fragrant oils, and this is because I'm really into like aromatherapy. So there's different oils that I put on my body to elicit different like emotions or energies. If I'm going to bed, for example, I want to scent like lavender or peppermint or clove or something very warm to help me really relax. If it's the morning time, I want something to give me energy and spunk, so something with citrus. 
Paris would be what I would reach for. Once you learn a little bit about scents, you can get yourself some fragrant oils and mix them. So I have a few right here that I've mixed. The first one I've made is Lazy Witch, and this one smells like soft skin and bed linen. It's my interpretation of Replica's bed linen perfume. This one smells very like amber, very peachy, very floral, but then also very fresh and like bed linen scent. So I actually usually wear this one to bed. Next, we have Moon Child, and Moon Child is very like cedar wood, very cotton and floral as well mixed in there. I did make my boyfriend one as well. This one is called Rasta Cowboy, and this one's very like, and this one is very warm, spicy, fresh cut wood, but also very vanilla, so I think it's incredibly intoxicating. And then last but not least, I made Oh But Orange, just that orange citrus one that I said before. This one is definitely for you know, the morning time when you want a little bit more energy. So this one's also very light and fresh, very orange citrus scent, as well as like a frankincense and myrrh type of scent as well. It doesn't have to be complicated. I was just looking at Sephora and the fragrant oils that they had were like 40, 50 bucks. And I was like, no, I can make this myself. Get yourself on Etsy, like literally baby oil. Honestly, baby oil, castor oil, jojoba oil as a carrier oil, and then add a few drops of your own fragrances, okay? I'm not about to spend $50 on a fragrant oil. I'm so sorry. Then you can find a perfume to layer with it. Once again, look at that fragrant wheel and see what you personally like and then go from there. So for me, all of these scents go with this body spray. Then I'll choose a fragrant oil that I want to layer on top and then I'll choose a perfume. So for my perfumes, the first one I really enjoy is Gabrielle. This is the Chanel Paris. This one is very mature, very sexy. This one I would usually pair with the Egyptian Musk. These smell incredibly sexy together. This one also pairs very well with the Lazy Witch as well. Next, I have this Burberry. This one is a very like, very light, fresh linen, very cotton type of scent. This one I would usually pair with Oh But Orange. Next, I have the Herbie Zen. This is a new one that was actually sent to me and I really did enjoy it. It's very like masculine smell. I don't know, sometimes I really love a very like masculine scent. I think it just adds, I don't know, I'm really into like kind of manly scents for some reason, especially because I'm so like girly and like light and whatnot and like a butterfly or like a fairy, whatever. I love having that juxtaposition of a little bit of like manliness to it. So I love pairing this one actually with the Moon Child. I think they smell really good together because that adds a touch of like floral to a very masculine scent. I don't know. I find that juxtaposition really, really beautiful. And the last one is Guess Seductive. Now this one has a very spicy scent. Personally, I find this one really pairs well with all of the fragrant oils that I mentioned before. That is basically what I would do. I would get four types of perfumes, one that's very light floral, one that's very sexy, and one that's very spicy, and one that's a little manly, and then you can go with those. Now, once again, if your thing is fruity, then fruity I would usually pair with like citrus. You can also pair fruity with spice, just to get that little pop of like je ne sais quoi. And of course with these perfumes, you wanna spray it on those same areas. So your neck, the wrists, the inner portions of the arm, the back of the knees, and of course, you know, the ankles. If you really want your fragrance to be like super intoxicating and like really to follow you wherever you go, spray it at the back of your neck. Thank me later. Leave a comment down below and let me know what are your favorite fragrance pairings. I would totally love to know. Look over here to see some of my previous videos and as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video.